What's up, folks? Welcome back. I'm your host, the Hypothetical Patriot. Everything you hear is satire. Well, we had a lot going on today. We had the vote for the Speaker of the House. We had uh, Mr. Matt Gates throw Donald J. Trump's name out in the ring. And then uh, I think it was the 10th and 11th round, he was on the docket and got a vote. And uh, it was pretty nice to hear the Democrats go, oh, when Gates said Donald J. Trump. And uh, it was nice. I'm not going to lie. It was very nice to hear that name. It was nice to see them all freak out. It uh, reminded a lot of people of the power that just his name has with these maniacs. But anyway, like I said, don't get distracted. This is all a dog and pony show. I don't know if it's uh, being orchestrated by, well, it's being orchestrated by both sides or letting it go on. Let's say that. But I don't know who's pushing the uh, envelope right now, if it's Trump or if it's uh, the black hats. Um, I think it's us and the white hats, to be honest, because I think Trump, by doing that truth uh, about how he's open to run for Speaker of the House or to be Speaker of the House, and then Gates again nominating him and then getting him on the docket. Um, I think that there might be something going on behind the scenes. They might be creating a distraction so that tomorrow, the January 6th Supreme Court trial uh, case with Brunson, I think that's the big one. And I think they don't want protesters there. They don't want media there. They want everybody focusing on the Speaker of the House, which if that Brunson case goes through and the uh, justices side with Brunson, hypothetically, none of this is going to matter anyway, because then hypothetically, there'd be a boatload of people out of office. Once again, the Brunson case is saying that everyone violated their oath of office because they didn't receive the foreign interference report on time before they certified the 2020 selection. The Supreme Court took that case up. They're going to hear it tomorrow. The Supreme Court picked the date of January 6th. Um, I thought it was very interesting. Someone wrote on a comment. So does this mean the Supreme Court is not all bought, hypothetically, that they're not all black hats, hypothetically? I don't know one way or the other. But what I would say was there was a shift in the Supreme Court, and I would say it was around right before and after the Roe versus Wade uh, overturning. If you remember, uh, during the FEMA <laughs> trials, Sotomayor and all of them were spouting off uh, – facts about COVID that they had to retract a few days later when they found out they weren't even true. They were beating the liberal drum very, very hard. And then it went quiet and no one talked about the Supreme Court and then Roe versus Wade came around and they overturned it. And there was violence and people were saying they were going to attack uh, Supreme Court justices. Um, obviously the one showed up at uh, on that one guy on uh, the one justice's street and um, there was a whole situation there. He had duct tape and he was going to, you know, take out, uh, take out a justice. And then uh, Clarence Thomas had some threats, hypothetically. And then Sotomayor, out of nowhere, started praising Clarence Thomas and saying how, oh, he's just a great man. And just random things kept coming out about. She just kept kissing Clarence Thomas's butt. And I was like, that's really weird. He's the head Republican. You know, he's very conservative. I know they might be friends, but she's very liberal and was is definitely on board, hypothetically, with the agenda that's being pushed right now. I thought it was very odd at the time. And then a couple of weeks later, they were denied through, I believe, Congress, uh, money for extra security, even though their lives were being threatened, legitimately being threatened. I mean, the man was going out to uh, take out one of the justices. And he's just hypothetically, and he was stopped on the way, thank God. So I wonder if Sotomayor and the rest of the group at that point realized no one has your back. That once Roe versus Wade went down, and maybe the numbers are on the conservative side, and you can't do much more for the black hats, I think they got cut loose hypothetically. So I wouldn't say tomorrow is a definite no for the Brunson case. I would say it's even leaning more towards our side. If you look at the last three or four decisions, they've all gone with the white hats. Uh, Roe versus Wade, no to the for everybody. Um, certain gun, gun rulings have also gone to the conservative way. So we're going to see, and they accepted this case and they picked January 6th. So we're going to see what happens. I really believe something good is going to happen here. I'm praying it up. I believe that this could set, and here's the deal. If they take this, this sets a clock back hypothetically to 2020. 
All those people that are in office would not be in office because they violated their oath. Don't know how that process hypothetically would take place. Also, the 2020 you-know-what would have to be you-know-what because the foreign inf interference report was never filed on time. It was filed, but it wasn't brought within a week. And it's always supposed to be brought within a week. It always has been brought within a week, and it wasn't. Um, it was delayed, and uh, that's what the whole thing is. We'll see. I don't know. My opinion is I really think something's going to happen to the Supreme Court. I think, the, uh, like I said, the vote with the House is nothing but smoke and mirrors. And I think the Supreme Court, when they were not useful for the black hats anymore, they got cut loose. And I think that uh, maybe hypothetically the justices realized that when they were denied extra, extra security from Congress when Congress – literally walks around with what looks like malicious for each one of their congresswomen and men. So uh, stay strong, pray up. There is a plan. This is popcorn time. We're not going into the storm. We're in the storm. And tomorrow could be the first lighthouse. God bless. Thank you, Brunson, for putting this out. I know you're a man of God. And uh, this legitimately could reset everything back to 2020. How come no one's talking about it? God bless.